Hi YouTube, this is Felicia with Bible Scraps and you are looking at a lot of unmounted rubber stamps and it's a whole lot more than what you see in the video frame. I'm having a personal moment and I thought I would share the experience with you all. You are not just looking at red rubber unmounted stamps, but these stamps are precious. They're one of a kind. I will cherish these stamps forever and pass them along to, well, my kids. They don't craft, but pray these would end up in hands that appreciate them because what you are looking at are images that were created by an African-American woman and they are of African-American people and African people. And I just learned, well, I learned a couple months ago that her stamping company, well, I believe she's retired, the business has closed, and you know, I'm really saddened by that. I went to her store to place an order because there's this image that, you know how you, regret that you should have gotten something. <laughs> it's been on my mind for the last several years to buy this image and I kept putting it off and now her store is closed. And people, it's an image of an African-American woman at her craft desk stamping. And the image is so beautiful because she has a pile of mess on her desk and you can see the papers um, flying off her desk and the trash can is right there. and. I can't get it because her store, she's closed down. I mean, I've sent her emails and haven't gotten a response and I'm having a moment right now. I'm really saddened because many of you crafters know that the crafting world, it lacks an African-American presence. And even after all these years, it still does. Last night, well, you know, I've decided to, um, take a walk down memory lane and I've been going through crafts that I made when I first started crafting. I really started in 2004 though I had a heart and a desire before that time. It was 2004 when I began my hordes of hauls, right? I bought up everything but my inclination was into making books and journals and things like that and so I've been working on a vintage junk journal that I will share with you guys when I'm done. And so um, I've been looking through and it's been like a flea market here. <laughs> I've been perusing through my, um, my older items. And so I pulled out a big old bag of these unmounted African-American red rubber stamps. And let me tell you, <laughs> a lot of them I hadn't even stamped. And so last night I did some stamping and I was so tickled. <laughs> I had no clue I had this image. By the way, the company that I'm referring to is Dandy Images. I did do a couple videos on her stamps. And like so many scrapbooking and rubber stamp companies, she went out of business. And I just got a feeling for her. She didn't get a lot of support that she should have gotten. And I do regret not giving her brand more support you know more notoriety back then i was hoarding more than anything so i wasn't crafting so anyway um if you have any of her images you are lucky i was so blessed she sent me a lot of free images such a wonderful woman so anyway i was stamping out some of these images last night in preparation for my vintage junk journal and I came across this image. <laughs> of course, we we know who these men are, right? These great African-American men. But I did not know I had an image of Barack Obama. <laughs> it just tickled and of me. The great Martin Luther King Jr., right? <laughs> it made me even more saddened because she had... I mean, a full website dedicated to African-American rubber stamps and African stamps. And she had um, stamps of other cultures as well. 
So I just decided, well, here are other images. Oh, and that then I check out them. this beautiful image. Come on, people. Do you see images like this? Vintage African-American images. I am so blessed to have these images. I tell you, they're rare now, hard to find, if you can find them at all. I surely hope someone she knows, someone from her family, picks up where she left off. So, I am stamping, right? So I can catalog what I have. I mean, I have so much from her. I'm so honored. Um, wow. I got a lot of work to do because I will be putting a lot of these stamps on cling foam. Or I might use my do-it-yourself method, which I shared a video. I use vinyl. I might just do that. Yeah, so I have a lot of work. I know you don't know what this one is, but I'm thinking this one, well, and it barely stamped out. I didn't stamp it out right. I was so anxious and eager to see what it was. I, you know, I didn't give enough pressure and enough ink. This might be the three wise men. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, and look at the faces here. Because she specialized in black uh, angels, and I have a set of her female and male angels, which you see the faces here because you can interchange the faces. Did you guys even know that existed? And um, African American, um, well, by her. I know we, we know that Peachy Keen specializes in face stamps, but I think she may have done it first. Yeah. So I'm so blessed to have those images. So yeah, I have a lot. I have a lot. I have a lot, 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 lot. Gonna have fun. Oh, this is one of my fave. One of my faves. You know what? Let me show you this stamp <laughs> and one of my older altered books oh that my. I made. Okay, so I went to my garage. I pulled some things out. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you know, um, crafting is supposed to be fun, but sometimes it feels like work. But I tell you, I am going to return back and play more with what I gravitated towards when I first started crafting and it was altered books. Now, I'm not gonna tell you guys the name of this book. Back then, I used to read a lot, right? And so I purchased a book and let me tell you, it was so graphic and so vulgar. I decided, well, number one, there's no way I could make it through it. It was just, it was, every page was vulgar, explicit. <laughs> So I decided to alter the book. And, ooh, look at this. I started this book August 30th, 2003 at 11.30 a.m. I like to date and put the time on everything. <laughs> oh, I don't know how big altered books are now, but back then they were really popular. And what I loved about it, freestyle everything went you didn't have to think no matter what you did it came together and it looked okay like this please I didn't put any thought into this and that was the whole point and that's why I loved altered art so much because it was stress-free type of art but I know there's an image of this little girl here and that's what I want to get to but oh my goodness look <laughs> Yes, I cannot wait to make one of these again. Just have fun. Okay, so I have some journaling there and I have no clue what I wrote. So I don't want to share that. It's the way and the truth. He is the way and the truth and the life. Okay. Let's flip right through there. Okay, here she is right here. Little girl. And I love that image. <laughs> yeah, if you have not tried an altered book, look up a tutorial and try one. Oh my goodness, so fun. Okay, so I found, okay, 
I was really big into making handmade journals and this is a basic one here I will start back making these you guys because and once again this is basic it's plain but I let me show you a cover of another one that I made I used to sell these and I have different themes different titles and this one is called a holy love and my journals are so unique at least back then they were so unique I specialized in uh, photographic journals so I would take a picture of whatever picture my customer submitted and put it on the cover of that customized journal but I used to make a lot of these too and I'm not sure what these are called but I was inspired to create this or these by watching crafters coast to coast I used to love that show do you guys remember that show well they featured an artist who made these and she used fabric for mine I used fabric and paper or felt but I don't know what they are they could be book covers and I think I might just do that create one of these and make it the cover for my book but I put in paper pockets added beads and these were just really fun to make so I've made more I don't know what the rest of them are oh and this right here okay so <laughs> this is actual artwork from my daughter when she was in primary school and I took her I don't know what I did here I think I probably took her actual artwork and made a copy and I don't know what kind of paper this is I love the the feel it's soft and the texture but I added her artwork to to fabric and added stitching around by the way I pulled well I left my sewing machine out <laughs> I shared the video how to sew on plastic and decided well my sewing machine has always been out it's just closer to my desk now okay let me oh okay now this might look kind of creepy <laughs> but I love this picture of my mom it's my fave it has a vintage feel to it and so I'm always, well back then I made a lot of copies and I would do all kinds of stuff with it. So I altered the cover of this book. Um, let's see here. And then I never finished this one. It's like a binder. Oh, and I have mama on it. So I was going to dedicate this to my mom. She's deceased. And I did a little altering in the inside. You know yeah I'll definitely come back and do something with this but there's another stamp that I want to show you guys because or a couple stamps because I found the cards I made I shared a video maybe six years ago and this stamp is so adorable let me tell you and this is the card that I made this is the style I gravitated towards and I love it and isn't she gorgeous and I am so honored so blessed to have this image to have all of these but this is the cutest little african-american girl and angel love it and then I made now I didn't color her too well you probably can't see her face but I have her as well she's here somewhere she's a stamp so I'm having a bittersweet type moment right now because I hate to hear that Dandy is no longer in business. I hope she's alive and well. I hope I get a response from, from my emails. I'm back. I made a lot of progress. I know you can't, you can't see that, but, well, I'm watching my own tutorial videos do you guys do that do you watch your own videos by the way let me go ahead and mute that because I need to mount my red rubber stamps and I shared a do-it-yourself an easy inexpensive way to mount your stamps and so I've watched that video and now I'm watching the video 
on how I made my uh, panels to store these stamps. I got a lot done. All of these here, I've added my mount on the back. I will stamp these out and then mount them on my do-it-yourself panel. I've also done these. I just need to cut them out. But I still have a lot to do yet because I have a lot of these unmounted rubber stamps. And these are just my African American stamps. I mean, I have other unmounted stamps that I'm not going to do these today. Yeah, I have a couple other piles I need to work on, like, like these. And so I found some duplicates, you guys. I think I'm going to do a giveaway. How about that? So, yeah, let me continue while I have the mojo to do it. I'm taking it easy. My arm is still recovering. This this may help my arm though the doctor said to exercise the arm so we'll see and I just absolutely love this image here I'll stamp it out for you how I wish I had the larger image because dandy yeah she had three different sizes small medium and large and this is the small oh, oh full of regret full so of regret. it's later uh, it's at night it's almost 11 p.m. actually and I finished all of this earlier I did this nonstop and let me tell you my fingers needs they needed to rest my arm needed to rest I will this is all I have left this well in this small bag and I am in no rush <laughs> but I am so happy to have mounted my stamps and added my cling I had to watch another video of mine I did a tutorial on how to make um, mounting boards so now I am going to mount these stamps on my do-it-yourself mounting board what I will not be doing anytime soon is stamping out the phrases or the images on this side that's what I I would normally do but because these images are so big you know I may not even do it because I can tell what these are I mostly would want to add the images on the back for phrases so yeah I have a lot of stamps you guys so I just peel back that liner and I love oh my goodness I love this one and just place my stamp on the mounting board I will have links to the tutorials in my description box I love purchasing the unmounted because they're so much cheaper than buying of course wood block or cling but there is a process now you don't have to add cling to your unmounted stamps what what I did when I did use these I added double stick tape to my block and just stick my stamp on like that and it works but I think with the cushion added to the stamp it'll make it easier to stamp okay so I want to have certain types of stamps on this particular this image is so cute it's a african-american baby playing with the blocks I love this image I don't think I've ever used this one okay so I will definitely use these stamps now that I have them mounted yeah I told somebody about I told the Airbnb guy about your video I'm doing a video and you don't even care I'm just gonna talk and talk 
That's my son, you guys. He's home for a couple weeks before he gets transferred to Europe, which I'm excited because my husband and I, we will visit Europe next summer, if the Lord willing, to visit my son and my older brother who is stationed there. Oh, and this is a cute image too. So yeah, I'm going to stamp some of these images out just to show you guys how they look. I'm done. Well, as done as I will be for a good while. This is all I have left. And I am not in a rush. <laughs> oh, I wish I would have shared the bag that I started with. It was not a plastic bag. It was a store bag. So much bigger. But... I have most of these unmounted stamps now mounted on my do-it-yourself stamp board. And these are all 12 by 12 inches. I love my process because, um, well, the stamps are mounted nice and sturdy and the storage panels, look at that the stamp sticks to them very well so this is the second board I know it's jam-packed I did not want to create another board so I just I made it work I might go back and you know declutter these panels and then here's this one I think I'm missing one of these stamps I remember having three of these and Oh, if I dropped it, well, my dog's got to it. Okay, so let's stamp some of these images out to see what I have with these bigger images. I'm able, I can clearly see what they are. You may not recognize them, but I love my uh, process because the cling, it sticks so well to the, um, the stamp block companies need to well I work with a lot of stamps and you have to condition the stamp to get it to stick back on the stamping block I just use a baby wipe but with this process you don't have to do that and oh this one is just coming alive she is so pretty she's a little baby angel and she is adorable okay let me get this out the way bring this into view and let's stamp oh oh look at her <laughs> she is adorable I love her little bald headed baby okay um okay so she's cute right she's really cute let's I don't think I've ever stamped this image let's do her she is a larger angel. There is another company, Rubberneck. I think I've never ordered from them, but they do have some African American images. They have uh, different women. So I need to definitely place an order from them. Oh, she's pretty. And she's holding a little doll. I think I did stamp her out before. She looks familiar. Oh, she is pretty. Isn't she? Just a doll. Okay, then let's stamp out this one. Oh, I just love her, love her, love her. Yeah, I might have to not be lazy and add me another stamping board. I don't want to lose any of my images because I do have some small ones okay now when you're working with new stamps you should condition and that basically means you stamp several times before you stamp your image you want to use oh and look at him is that a boy or a girl that's a girl because of the eyelashes so super cute Okay, love it, love it, love it. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to have to 
take my time and well it's not hard to make one of these boards I just got tired 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 okay um let's see here okay let's move to another board let's stamp out I shared these in a video and I need to find that I'm gonna play my video again because I know I had three of these women okay let's stamp out this one this is a large one and this is no let's do the Kwanzaa stamp and I have this Kwanzaa I think in yeah two sizes here's a smaller one here Look at that. It's Kawanda. Okay, let's stamp out. Let's do her. No, let's do her. I have not done her yet. She's pretty, 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 pretty. Okay, let's move to another board. And let's see here. Let's do Preacher Man or the Pastor. He is the pastor. That's the pastor. You know, my hands are like dirty, dirty. Oh, let's do this one. I love this one. Love, love, love. Mother and child. Look at that. Or father. Father and son. Okay, I'm not sure. What is that? Oh, I guess it can be both. Let's do this little girl. <laughs> She's cute! Ah! Love, love, love! And let's do this little baby. So precious, precious, precious. Oh, okay. And then let's do. <laughs> I've stamped her out, but it's been a while. I like her. She is dancing in the wind. Let's put her up here. Check her out. You go, girl. And let's see what else. Let's do one more. Um, let's do her. She's praying. Love it. Okay, you guys. Oh, I am so happy to have done this. Now I can use these stamps. I kept them bagged up in a drawer in the garage. So you can imagine they were all unmounted just in this bag. And I and didn't know what stamp was what stamp. I did have them in individual baggies. But, I mean, that didn't help with the organization. But now I am organized. Ah! And I love it. Ooh, I get to use my brother's scan and cut to cut out these images. They are adorable. So I will be using these in my 
books and my journals and I absolutely love them well I thank you guys for experiencing this experience with me um, once again I will have links to my tutorials if you are interested in my do-it-yourself system here and I just thank you guys for spending this time with me if you know of any sites that offer african-american stamps please leave the links below well i want to thank you all for watching and as always blessings